I have the widest smile now because we are going to make it. What does the lion say? The Alps, yeah. Speechless. You can go to four countries all within one day. In this video, we traveled four hours from our home near Grafenbier to Lake Constance in southern Germany. We went camping for the first time ever this summer in Lindau. We took a scenic boat ride that we almost missed. Explored the beautiful old town on Lindau Island. Whoa, it's swimming went swimming with the most stunning view of the Alps, and then ended our night eating good old ramen noodles. <laughs> in the morning, after waking up, we drove to Liechtenstein and were blown away by the Alpine landscapes. And if you missed our latest videos, we were in Northern Germany exploring beautiful natural landscapes. We explored Rügen Island in the Baltic Sea and then crossed over to the North Sea to experience mud hiking in Cuxhaven. After that, we took it further north to see the famous St. Peter Ording Beach. We experienced a lot of wind on this trip, but hey, the saying goes, there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. Did not expect that. Is this normal weather for this area? Attention, from here, no clothing. We also ate lots of German seafood and yes, we already miss it. This is kind of going to be a surprise for me. To end our time in northern Germany, we took a ferry ride to an island known as the Frisian Caribbean. <sighs> we made it! We experienced a slow-paced paradise and ended our trip believing that the north is Germany's best kept secret. <laughs> now, let's get back to Lake Constance, an incredible European lake that borders Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. Let's go! Daydream in my head, I'm drifting Swept up in the moment Wishing every now and then We could just pretend We've got our goods for the day. They gave us a free red pretzel for Willa. Which is kind of funny because we only stopped to get Willa something and we ended up getting a free something for her. So we've got a couple of cheese rolls and a pumpkin seed roll to go along with it. But we are at the bus stop here in Lindau. We just set up our tent, kind of rushed over here because we've got a boat to catch in about 35 minutes. Probably would have missed it had we not found out that there's a bus that can take us right to the dock. We walked over here and we didn't realize it, but we saw a bunch of like Polizei just down the road, 100 meters away from the Austrian border. So we know that the Bowdoin Sea borders three countries, Switzerland, Austria, and Germany, but it's just really fun to finally be here. It is a hot day, but we're really excited for this weekend to explore a little bit of this place that so many of you have recommended, Lake Constance. And might we add that we were super lucky to get the campsite. Here at this camping spot, there's no reservations for tent camping. So it's first come, first serve. And yesterday was a German holiday, but not a US holiday, so we didn't take it off. We got the last parking spot. <laughs> I have the widest smile now because we are gonna make it. We're going on a boat. You guys, we got so lucky, but yet yeah, we've actually been here for about five minutes and people are still coming. Like they are coming down to the minute and they're super relaxed. So I guess we had nothing to worry about. These views are incredible. So picturesque. We're here on a lake and see the Alps there. Three different countries are in our view. Everyone here is ordering their beverages, even some food. On the walk up here, I got stopped, literally stopped in my tracks when I saw the apple strudel and all of the other desserts. All the German cakes and desserts here just look so nice. Just make the most of 
every second that we give admiring all of the boats here. We've stopped at the Yacht Club here in Lindau and Lindau is a very old lake town. The old town is situated here on the island and from what we've seen it's beautiful. The alleyways are very picturesque and we're excited to explore more of that old town. We've made our way from the boat ride which you guys that boat ride is worth taking. You definitely want to take a boat ride if you're here at Lake Constance. It's one of the top things to do. I would say probably the top thing to do. However there is so much to do in this area. As I'm speaking, you can see behind me, there is a Zeppelin plane, balloon looking thing up in the air. They're called a Zeppelin here and I looked at the price for tickets to ride one and it's expensive because they fly really low and apparently they're more environmentally friendly. You get big windows to look out of. You can walk around and I'm sure that is just an incredible view up there. But from the ground, it's still fun to see it up there. It's just unique. Some other things to do are to enjoy the water. Of course, right after we got off the boat, we walked a couple feet down and there's this place that you can just jump into the water and oh, it looked so enticing to just jump in. It's a really hot day and there were people enjoying it. Willow went and put her feet in the water and soaked that in. She's like swimming, swimming. So we're going to do that when we get back to our camps. Site. But you guys, you can just feel the mood here. It's really awesome. We've seen a lot more diversity here than we're used to, which we love. We wish that there was more where we live. Wow, it's making What's that? What's that? Castle. A castle. A castle. It kind of looks like a castle, huh? A lighthouse. Both the lion statue and the lighthouse are two of the most iconic things. If you're coming in by boat, they're what you see first. It does look like you can go to the top of the lighthouse as right now I can see people up at the top. I'm sure that's a nice view of the harbor and maybe even a little bit into the old town that you could see. And we didn't know this before, but there is a private beach that is like all along this dock and there's a center place that you can swim in and then go right out to the lake as well. This would be a very nice place if you want to just like have no sand and no rocks, just a nice place to go swim. <laughs> wow, you're sharing. Oh, and a, a hefty portion there. We, we passed by all of like the ice cream shops and she's like, I want some pink ice cream. And I was like, I don't know if mommy's going to get pink. Probably not. White ice cream. White, White ice cream, yep. It's lemon, huh? Nothing's better than lemon on a hot day. Oh, yeah. When I, when I. Willa, are you having a good day? Yeah. Did you like the boat? Yeah. You didn't like the boat ride? Right? Mm -hmm. I didn't like the boat ride. Right? Did you like the ice cream? Yeah, I didn't like that. No, you didn't like the ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm Did you like the water? No. No? Whatever. I think your nose is growing like Pinocchio's. <laughs> Public transportation sounded like a really great idea because it was like one hour walk from our campsite to the island, but it ended up almost taking about the same amount of time by the time that we stopped at the, all the other stops and then like at the main station, whatever. Still, it was really good. We made it back here. We've been dying to go swimming. We hopped into our swimsuits and that's what we're about to do now before we head back to our tent for the rest of the night. It is absolutely stunning. Like even from right here, this is a completely different view than we had like on the boat. And wow, like the Alps, yeah, speechless. We do kind of wish and like have that feeling like we could stay here a little bit longer, but you'll see in the next coming videos, we are going to Switzerland and we're gonna have some amazing views in the mountains. Yes. 
the throat and the way you were used, blame it on me. What's you waiting for? Oh, what's you waiting for? What's you waiting for? Oh, what's you waiting for? The sunset was incredible, but our tummies were growling, huh? They needed some food. So now we're being a bit silly and eating our food on the cooler and on one of our backpacks because we forgot our table and, and we forgot our chairs. Plus not to mention, the smell is so nutrient dense. We're talking ramen noodles over here, you guys. <laughs> and Tanner and Willet, they don't mind. They're happy. What are you eating? Noodles. There you go. Do you want to tell them good night? Good night. Say see you in the morning. In the morning, I just go night night in my house. In the, we're going to go night night in the tent. <laughs> Ten second rule. <laughs> <laughs> It is like 7.45. We found out Willie can sleep in if she goes to bed late. And she can sleep through a lot of noise. There was a lot of things going on last night outside our tent. People talking, kids crying, people snoring. We slept through it all. Even this morning, Tanner and I woke up. And we're like, it's getting really close to time to go. We started packing up and she was still asleep. But she's awake, she requested her dress, huh? Are you wearing a dress? Yeah, and now we're gonna pack up and probably get some breakfast on the way. Lichtenstein, here we go. What is it, Willa? Is it a castle? So rather than walking, we drove up to a parking lot just above the castle here in Vaduz. Liechtenstein is a very small country. It only has about 38,000 people, but it packs a punch because its location is spectacular. After reading up a few things, German is like the national language here. They use the Swiss franc, so it's a lot like Switzerland in that fact. So as you can see, we haven't made it too far. We actually walked down to the castle, but you can't go in because it's a current residence of the royal family. And so that's pretty cool is that they're still in there. Well. We don't really know if they're in there, but they're living there. And so really the best thing to do here is to park and then just see the castle and see the magnificent views. I shouldn't say just because, I mean, you guys, this is incredible and well worth the stop. This country is located in pristine Alpine region and it's known for its connecting trails. So there's a lot of biking trails, a lot of hiking trails. Those honestly are some of the best things to do here in the country is to just get outside, get outdoors and take in the views. Aside from that, this is the capital city. So you can spend some time in the old town and just walking and exploring. Even though this is a brief visit, it's definitely worth that stop. It's right off of the Autobahn, honestly, like a five to ten minute drive off and you're here and the fun part is is you can go to four countries all within one day this morning we passed through germany austria switzerland and now Liechtenstein. flash forward a couple days and we're on our way home we had an amazing time in switzerland cannot wait for you to see the footage from that trip will is having a blast on the cow super oh that's so fun he gets to ride on the cow so if we look like we fell asleep in the car and have been camping for like five days straight, we have been. But we're super excited to be here and make a stop at Rhine Falls. This place is west of Lake Constance. So compared to the way that we came in, we're gonna be driving above it and a different way home. We've heard this place is amazing and we can't wait to see it in person.
Okay, but wait, that was the cutest thing I've ever seen. That is the reason why you travel with kids, to watch them explore the world and just take in Mother Nature. Oh my gosh, it gets me a little emotional. She was loving that and we had to keep going back. Well, that's a wrap for this video. Thanks for being here, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying following along. The next few videos are gonna be in some of our favorite area in the world. So excited. The Swiss Alps. Stay tuned for those because we're definitely gonna be going down memory lane from a few years ago when we visited. We cannot be more excited. Ready? You can swish and swirl. Yeah, swish and swirl.